Hello, my lovely child of the internet. It is I, Multi12789, other known as Multi Man. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Rune Factory 5. Uh, last time, well, what did we end up doing? We finished up Cloud Elysium, Cloud Elysium, and then we basically are on our way to now, I think, finish the final dungeon in the game, I think. Don't quote me on that. Uh, there's definitely more dungeons. I'm just saying that this is the final one for the this section of the game. Uh, before we go. Hey, hey Rendia, before you move. Oh, come back. Please, take the milk. Yeah, I put effort into it. Uh, sorry also if I sound nasally. I just woke up and my body hasn't really, uh, loosened up. Ugh, jeez. I haven't lo loosened up a lot, holy. But anyways, before I get distracted again, uh, welcome back to this episode. Um, I just wanted to say that today we're going to be finishing off the event that we had, uh, before we had an event that I didn't know where to go, but it was all the way up by the volcano area for some reason. So we're gonna do that today. We might start the last dungeon a little bit more today as well. Um, but there were some other things I wanted to talk about and show off because there were some things that I learned off screen since the last time we played, and there's been some been some things that I've been doing off screen since the last time we played. So. With all those things being said, uh, let us go ahead and go and warp over to the entrance of, uh, Laki- Ah, uh, Kielva Volcano. Oh, I wasn't expecting you guys to be here. Huh? It's you guys. <coughs> ah, voice reveal. <coughs> oh, excuse Yo. me, holy. Yo, Cyril, go easy on us today, okay? <sighs> uh, I would, wouldn't even be here right now if it wasn't for Palmo to had told me I had to go. And you both came too? Yes. Yeah, the field captain said that they had her, wait. I always were doing her best in for Ridge Bar, so at least we could do is try to pay her back for a, a volunteering. And there's not like there's a chance, like, it's not like we get a chance to help see with uh, training every day. This will be a blast. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin. First, allow me to express my profane grat profound gratitude to all of you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to join us today. You will be tackling a uh, training exercise in pairs. Each pair will explore the dungeon and find the item that's hidden deep within the, uh, the palace, I guess. Or the depths. Uh, the descent is, is maze-like in nature with monsters waiting around every corner. So stay on your toes and proceed with caution. Yawn. Monsters, eh? Blech. Crack of noon is way too early for me. I'm way too sleepy to deal with any big fights. Then I guess uh, I'll just keep an eye out for you, okay, Riker? Let's pair up. Thanks, Marakumo. I owe you. You and me are gonna be one heck of a pair. Right, Priscilla? Let's do our best. Yeah. Well, if we work together, we I'm sure we can do it. All right, Thurl, uh, you shall be my partner in this exercise as we uh, serve. Ser Survey the depths. When you're ready, just, uh, okay. Alright, let the exercise commence. Okay, so is she actually on my team? No, uh, okay, we just, I guess we go in. Alright. Okay, so do we have to go to a specific area now in the depths? Uh, well, I guess we're gonna have to find out, aren't we? I wonder how I wonder how far ago this event was supposed to happen because right now we're overqualified for this dungeon. We've already been through it and did it, so 
Like, I'm just gonna warp until I reach uh, the next floor, cause uh, unless there's a bubble that tells me where to go, I'm not gonna waste my time. We have precious daylight hours. Oh, here we go. Hmm, this dungeon seems more man-made than I anticipated. I hope everybody is, will be doing alright. Uh, there may be a lot of things, but pushovers or not, they'll definitely be fine. Indeed, perhaps we should pick up the pace a little. If we don't, we'll let everybody else find the item before us. It would be quite embarrassing if the town folks outperformed the rangers, their own training <gasps> exercise. Wait, is this a contest? Crap, we have to get a move on. Take this! I'm gonna drop you, you stupid monster! Sorry, but I don't... But this isn't the time to sleep, this is the time... But it's time for you to go sleeping with the fishes. What? Money? Yeah. Marakumo! <sighs> huh? Oh, it's only you two. I thought that you were monsters. Sorry. Well, I'm glad that you're doing okay. It's okay so far, but where's Riker? Right here. Sorry for leaving you for all the fight, Marakumo. Don't worry, we're gravy. It's not like any really scary monsters are here anyways. So, this may only be training exercise, but don't get careless, okay? How far in the dungeon do we have to go anyways? Seriously, I don't have the ener I don't have that much energy to do much more on this unholy hour. I say we're at the halfway point. All right. Halfway? Heck yeah. Let's get moving, Riker. We'll find the thingy mabobber in no time. Uh, Marakumo! Uh, why do I have why do I have to hurt so early in the day? Jeez, Marakuro sure is in a big hurry. Yeah, this way, he, he might be the first one to Yo. find him. Yo! That sounds like Lucy. <laughs> I'm not gonna choose the second option, I'm not stupid. Yup! Man, I am glad to see you. That means that we're on the right track. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. I We got a little turned around earlier, so we started to worry that we got lost. Have you two any, ran into any monsters yet? A handful or two. No big deal. I can handle most of them on my own. Cyril did give me a really cool weapon off screen that makes me trounce everything in one hit. So if any nasty ones show up, I'll hi we'll hightail it out of there. Or maybe smack it over the head. Mm. Uh, but you're so fast, I can barely keep up, Lucy. What about you two? Are you doing alright? Yeah, for now, anyways. I mean, I've been in this dungeon like 50 hours ago plus, but you know. Really? That's good to hear. Well, what are we doing waiting around here? Come on, Priscilla. We gotta get moving and find that item. <laughs> I'm gonna win the contest to show everybody how truly awesome we are. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, you two, we'll be on our way. See you. Well, those two certainly seem competent, though. Our fellow rangers, on the other hand. Huh. <sighs> oh, Ranger Scarlet. It's good to see you and that you're still alive, ma'am. Can you believe how many monsters are in here? This isn't, the exer this isn't the training exercise. It's a trip straight to hell. How did anyone supposed to reach the depth at this place? Sarah, we must absolutely do everything we can to reach that item first. See, his reputation is riding on this. These guys are like, bro, how am I supposed to deal with it, bro? Nobody said we had to keep fighting like this. Ah, oh, okay, we gotta make it over to that area. All right, we'll take the we'll take the left detour then. 
So off screen, I did make a, quite a few cool new weapons. Uh, we got we got some really hard hitting swords like the Vulcan. The Vulcan is fire weapon though, so we don't want to use it here. But we will use our earth weapon spear and poke Shit. everybody's eyes out. It's not like anything here is a threat anyways, because again, we are quite a, quite a bit higher level than the average Joe Smo in this dungeon, so. We just gotta get to this marker. Somebody's getting cornered over here. Ow. Stop! Oh, the treasure's here. Uh, dead end? That must mean we reached the de deepest point, right? That's incorrect. So, the item should be around here, right? I believe so, yeah. Ah, over there! The item should be in that chest! Good, I'll... It looks like we're the first ones here. Let's grab it and hurry back. Okay, but I guess we just got teleported out. I wasn't... You know, I really was not expecting that. <laughs> A solid blockhead. Alright, here we go. Oh, we're missing the seed members, aren't we? Okay, no, they're there. Okay. It seems everybody's safe, everybody safe and sound and returned from the dungeon. With this, today's joint training uh, exercise is complete. Thank you all for your cooperation. <laughs> that sounds good to us. And here I thought we were going to be the first ones to get it done. Ah, uh, dang it. I lost. I wanted to win to show the world how cool I am. Sorry, but you can't beat us that easily. We are rangers, after all. You little... I know that, but losing is still... still things, you know. <sighs> so why do... why don't we have a rematch? In fact, let's do it right now. Yeah, I'm in too. Ending on a loss leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I'll definitely get back into the next giant exercise. Not that I care, but I would. I but pick another partner for that, would you? I had enough of your carelessness. <laughs> uh, today was a bit scary, but it was a lot of fun, too. You know, I would love to come back and do this again sometime. Yeah, we better do this again. Uh, I just need to make it up for my uh, defeat. <sighs> looks like everybody just finished. Look like whatever. Ah, looks like we're finishing for the day, Scarlet. No. Not yet. Part of the joint exercise training re is reporting back to the silo. So okay, here we go. All right, that's cool and all, but like, let's go. <laughs> uh, it's probably quicker to just go to my room and then go down. One loading screen rather than two. Let's do it. Man, I really wish my nose wasn't being so, uh, nasally clogged right now. Like, I don't know what happened. I don't got allergies. I don't got anything. Anyways. Phil Captain, we've returned from our training <laughs> exercise. Good, good. How was it? Let's yes. have a report. Yes, ma'am. Today's joint training exercise went as follows. And finally, we confirmed all of the participants have returned safe and sound, and the joint training exercise was a success. Hmm, I see. So you found the item first, eh? Uh, you want... You look like what you want to say something, Captain. Uh, it's nothing. I've made everybody else participate today with the intent of showing you two down. What? Or slowing you down. But it seems like I underestimated your skills. We are rangers of Rich Bar South Post, ma'am. I wouldn't admit the feat so easily. Yeah, we looked pretty. We looked pretty bad if people were supposed to protect people, were supposed to be protected rather than being us had to be rescued instead. You know, like there's no point of being law enforcement if we don't here to uphold the law. <laughs> Very true, so thanks for the report. I'm glad that, that to hear that today's exercise was worthwhile one. Keep it up, you two. Okay. How's our little town today? Uh, it's doing good. 
Good work today. All right. Hey. What do you like? What would you do if you if you got your memories back? I don't know. I like Bridgeworth. I think I'll stay. Ah, I think I can speak for the whole town when this says that we would have ha be happy for you to stick around. Something about this town makes my skin crawl. Not that I'm saying I hate it here or anything. It's just that everything here seems too relaxed, too comfortable. It's weird. Uh, yeah, it may be weird, but that is how we do it around here. Hmm, we have a few more things that we should be doing. Like, we have a few more things, like a few more events that we could be doing today. Uh, hmm. We're not that far into the video, so yeah, maybe we should start off with, uh... You know what? We don't talk to Reinhardt anymore, do we? Let's go ahead and talk to him then, because, like I said, we don't talk to him. We haven't talked to him really since he ever joined the town. Other than me trying to up our uh, friendship with everybody in town. Speaking of which, by the way, I wanted to make a few things clear because there was also some things I realized that I did off screen that I didn't mention. Uh, what? What's happening? Wait, don't tell me that Martin's one was literally in the... It was on the other side of the building. Yeah, it triggered. Okay, whatever. He's looking pleased with himself. I'm standing right behind him, and he hasn't even noticed me. He really does have incredible focus. All right. There. That ought to do it. Taddies. What? <laughs> oh, he must be talking to, like, the, the tadpoles. Taddies? <laughs> Money? Sir, how long have you been there? And why are you looking at my taddies? <laughs> Sorry, I was going to speak up, but you seem really focused on your work. <sighs> Sheesh, that's embarrassing for you thing for you to see. Uh, I don't think it was, but can you explain what tatties are before the comments section gets after me? Huh. If there's any if anything, I'm really impressed. Name your tools, uh Oh, he named his tool, okay. Nothing naming your tools is just a trait of the show how much it means to you. Of course it means a lot to me. I intend to become the greatest blacksmith in the world. My tools are one thing that uh the one thing I value more than my life. One of the things. What else do you value so highly? Ah, uh, you got a sharp ears. <laughs> oh well. I guess I could tell you. Besides my tools, there is one thing more than I oh, I value more than my own life. Cecil. Our parents are gone. He's the only family I got left. Which means I'm responsible for raising him. So you're working not only to achieve your dream, but to give your best life to Cecil. Let me guess. You're shocked that a knight, that a novice like me is actually attempting to do something so, uh, um, ambitious. No, no, I don't think that at all. Honestly, I think it's amazing. I really admire your ambition. Really? Huh? Really? You know, I thought you might understand. You have an incredible drive, but you drive your ah, but you drive yourself so hard that it worries me, and also Cecil. Have you ever wondered that you will soon burn yourself out again? <laughs> <laughs> when that time comes, I'm sure you, uh, the two of us will enjoy, enjoy enjoying another time soaking in the bath together. I like that idea. When it when let me know whenever you go. Okay, thank you. For not being a full event because again again his bubble was like right over here and then I tried to walk past and it's like oh by the way it's a it's a Pokemon battle and I'm like come on bro like I ain't trying to I ain't trying to talk to you <laughs> I was like I tried to talk to Reinhardt we haven't talked to him at all same with Fuka so these are the next two that I'm gonna probably tackle And yet... Perhaps this one? Ah, uh, no. Huh? Uh, hi, Reinhardt. What are you looking so distraught for? No. Oh, it's nothing serious. You hadn't need to consider yourself. So? Are you sure about that? As my voice cracks for the th third time this episode, I need water, obviously. 
Oh. He says as much, but he's been standing in front of this produce shelf for a while now. He's been trying to f f figure, uh, work out a difficult problem. If you can't solve it by yourself, then perhaps it's simply easier to ask for help. Should you require some vegetable related device, you only need to console Cyril, because he's an experienced farmer after all. Hmm, yes, I suppose that could be. There could be some use for a second opinion. Would you kindly share your wisdom with me, yes. Cyril? Yeah, sure thing. What do uh, you need I'd help I'd like with? you to help me select the perfect vegetable. Uh. Huh? Wait, is that it? Yes, that's um... it. Um. Uh, doesn't matter what kind of vegetable it is. Uh. But do you want, like, a leafy one or a root one or. Anything will do, just as long as it's fresh and delicious. Uh, that doesn't really narrow, narrow it down very much. Do you have any other info that you can give me? Like, what type of meal you're making or anything? I will leave that to you as well. I simply wish to purchase the best ingredients and the highest quality foods for my only princess. Uh, um, okay. Well, how about this cucumber? Huh, I see. Hmm, I might ask for uh, criteria to lead you to this decision. Well, for one, it looks nice and fresh. I can... I can bend it easily... To, wait, I... I can bend it slightly to test the uh, springiness, to check that the ends of the stem were cut off properly, and it looks healthy. So you judge its freshness, and the freshness tells you about the yes. taste. Right. It's a general rule of thumb. Vegetables with bright and glossy colors are, will taste good. I appreciate your advice. Mrs. Soggy, I will take this cucumber and eat it. Thank you for your business. Thank you for your patronage. Hope to see you again. There you guys go. Glad that worked out, but why didn't he take care any uh, why didn't he even care about the type of vegetable? Not like he's just gonna make a sandwich or anything. Oh, was that no, his event is still going on. It's just gonna have to be another day, I guess, of us helping him. So okay. Yo. Alright. I'm just chatting. Ugh, wallflower. Wall girls, wall girls. Hi there. Hello. Guess what? I'm gonna work for Uncle Kumo someday. I'll be an innkeeper. Don't doesn't that sound fun? I can't wait. <laughs> I can't help but look at all when I ever I see your weapon wielding powers. Yeah, I'm very efficient. Do you mind if I observe you sometime? Is something I mean, amiss? Splendid. Do you wanna? Do you, okay, never mind. Whatever. I was gonna ask him if he wants to join me on the trip to uh, where we need to go to next. Because I guess now that we did basically just events this episode, and we can't do the next one for a little bit, um, I guess what I'm gonna go ahead and do is that should I recruit some monsters or should I just ask some people? Well, we haven't had Beatrice in the party for a long time, so she might be fun to have around. Actually, let me quickly just check. Let's see, where is everybody's friendship level at? Yeah, Beatrice and Lumella is kind of falling behind, so we might want to take them and have us shove off for the day. Well, I also need to go to Palmo's, and I also need to go to Randolph. I need to get everybody up a little bit higher. Rendia, Rendia is the only person now who is in that level 5, which is fair, because it's Rendia, so... Well, Doug and Margaret are also not at level 5, but I really hope they don't count. I really hope both of these two don't count for having higher friendship level. If they do, I'm going to cry. But that's okay. Um, so yeah, quickly I'm going to go ahead and jump away. Because I'm going to go ahead and start grabbing some stuff that we need uh, to give to all of these guys. Hoping that we can get level 5 friendship with everybody. And then we're going to go ahead and shove off to our next destination. So I will see you guys here in just another moment. Ooh. A 
Well, that's really good. I'm glad that he randomly gave me a rosemary when I wanted to feed him. That's, that's cool. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> thanks. Say you, Terry. Uh, he's maxed to a five now, so that's good. Alright, let's see. Where's Randolph? Randolph, where are you? I guess he's just walking around in town somewhere. So. For those places. Is he over by the lake area? Oh, he's nowhere to be found. Okay. That's. That's. Oh, he's over here. Okay. In the Crystal Law, bro. I need to check. Oh, Terry still needs a little bit more. Uh, he just needs one, he just needs one, and then those two will be good. Alright, cool, cool, cool. We'll do this then. for the cake, bro. Future has always been an interesting, has interesting perspect, uh, perspective to offer. I suggest that you, she, uh, she give me, uh, she gave me one the other the day. She told me that a fruit sandwich was, were so delicious that I'd have, I had, I'd have had the stuff until the fruit nearly fell out. She sounds absolutely certain that everybody would enjoy them. I took her advice and gave it a try, and lo and behold, she sold me on it immediately. Okay. Yes. Yeah, she loves fruit sandwiches, bro. She's like, if you give me a fruit sandwich, I'll love you forever. Anyways, I'm sorry, I just did that impression. I'll, 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 I'll apologize later. Alright, we gotta give Palma one more thing. Uh... No, we're gonna give you this. You're you love a this. brilliant ball of sunshine today. Woohoo! My day is made. Okay, they should be up to five now, right? Like I'm not. Okay, five. No. Okay, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. This should really <sighs> push us over the edge. Hopefully, please, 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 please. Yeah, we made it. Okay. We only have two more people in town that we need to get to level 5. Hooray! One's gonna take longer than the other, as you would probably expect. Also, I'm gonna look at some renovations real quick. Sheesh! Okay, these things are not gonna be cheap. So off-screen, I did upgrade the flower shop again. It really didn't give us anything new, but you know, it, it, I did do it, so... Uh, that's level 3, this is level 3, this is level 3, so... Right now, uh, I think the next thing I'm gonna probably level up is the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, convenience store, Please because I time. have the time and money for that. And the prince points. Find so everything you need, and a few things you didn't. Alright, uh, that's pretty good. Um, Riker, do you want to come with us on an adventure? Because I haven't, uh, actually had you on a bar party for a little bit. Your logging skill is pretty impressive. Okay. Oh, you're busy right now. You don't wanna. Uh, hmm. You don't wanna. You don't wanna hang out. I get it. 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 Okay, I get it. You don't. You don't wanna hang out with me. Uh, you think I smell? You think? You think all these things? And you know what? I get it. I. I completely 100% get it. Okay. I'd be more offended, but like I get it. Did I go to the right place or did I? Warp somewhere is completely different. Okay, no, I warped to the right place. Cool. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna break this. We're gonna get your girl Beatrice, and we're gonna get your girl Lumella, and then we're gonna <laughs> shove off. Because these two are gonna come with us to Cloudesium. 
I mean, I'm also going to probably give them some better weapons because I realized that I probably should have thought about that before coming all the way over here, but that's fine. Honestly, I could probably give her my axe now because uh, I'm not going to be using it uh, for the next little while because we got things that are better. So, I mean, that's fine with me. Uh, hey, Beatrice. How do friends normally come to each other? Okay. Do you want to come with us? Alright. Yeah, I don't mind. Oh, yeah, you still got the squeaky shoes, don't you? Well, you know what? That's why we haven't asked you out in a while, but here you go. My stars! Alright, my stars. Okay, now we just gotta go get Lumilla. Alright. Oh, yeah, and also before I forget, uh. Here you go. My stars! Yeah, you're welcome. Man, we might have to give you those new boots, man. <laughs> we might have to give her those new boots because uh, I, I'm going to lose my mind if I have to listen to those squeaky sneakers any longer. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Alright, let's get Lumilla, because we haven't really spent that much time with her with doing dungeons. And she can also heal. She's the only character that actually knows how to heal in the game, so, you know, it'd be probably pretty helpful to have her along with us. I'm so happy I get to see you today. I came to chat. Alright. <laughs> huh? Alright, and uh, lastly, I'm actually going to probably go and get a monster here in a second, but real quick, I'm going to warp back, then we're on, then I will meet you guys at the last, at the last dungeon. We're going to go back to the Siege Flying Fortress, and we're going to get started going through that dungeon. We're probably not going to finish the whole thing today, but we're going to get started with it, so I'll see you guys there in another second. Uh, uh, what? Sorry, I had to cut back in because she just gave me a golden pumpkin. I didn't ask for this. But thanks for the golden pumpkin, uh, you know, uh, thank you Beatrice, you're always so kind and thoughtful. <laughs> I was not expecting her to literally just say, hey, hey, here, here's the golden pumpkin, bro. Here, have some golden shoes for your My golden stars. pumpkin. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, cutting back in where I think we're all ready to go. I brought, I brought along Ariel, the mermaid, and then we have Lumilla and Beatrice all souped up and ready to go. Without their hats, they should be battle ready, so let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna go ahead and save to a file that doesn't override something I need, so let's go ahead and do this. Let us begin. Alright, so first we gotta find an opening, which is only over here, so here we go. Alright! Yeah. Alright! I ain't afraid of no wolf. My stars. Nah, where are you going, bro? Get knocked down. Get put down on the ground. So yeah, off screen, uh, well, the only thing I did was give Beatrice my uh, weapon, made a new weapon from Lumilla, and then our siren is here just to have moral support for those two. Because the Siren actually has a, quite a bit of intelligence. There was a rock there, okay. Nothing of too much interest. Oh yeah, this is a big dungeon though. This is a biggie. Take that! I'll show you! Alright, them for right now, take and then we're gonna take do that, take that. Absorb them all into the dungeon. Take, take that! Take that. Huh. My stars! Yay! They're definitely gonna get leveled off of this. <laughs> like, this is a high level area. Alright. That opens the red one, so we gotta head back to the red. Yes! That's nice. Ooh, pirate armor. That's a new drop. But, anyways, also in one of the older dungeons, uh, the Alpha and uh, Depth, uh, 
if there's these things called, uh, I think it was called regular fairies or pixie fairies, uh, those drop, uh, love crystals that, uh, you can go and farm if you wish. Because love crystals are actually really good because it gives you drain attack on your weapon. Let's clear out everybody in this place. Oh, they dropped something. Hold on. All right. Let my subjects down. All right. Yay! You have my thanks. Take this. Take that. I'll show you. Yay! Oh, they already destroyed the gate? Okay, perfect. Can't do anything for your dad. Okay, do we get anything for destroying all that? Nothing, okay. Well, then we'll keep moving. We are on the left side of this place, so this should open up a few things after we defeat the people in here. Double care! Destroy the gate. Destroy the child. Destroy the child. Bye. Oh, the other dog was over here. Come here, boy. I don't know what you thought you were about to do, but you're about to take this all. Okay, so we unlocked a way to loop back. Actually, we really didn't. Is there a switch here that we missed? It seems like it. Because uh, we can't leave, so... Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like... My mind was like, come on, bro. Why would you give us a literal dead end? All right, well, this will open up another area on the opposite side, too, so. This will be good. All right, so on the opposite side of here, something should be opened. Or here is opened. Okay. Yeah, there it is. All right, so on the opposite side, let's go for here. Do -do 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 -do. Hit, hit, take that! Hit! Wow! Take that! Go! Now! No more! Man, this thing is still staying there, huh? I'm not done yet! It's over! Man, your girl going- all, all of our girls are going in. Let's go. Wait a minute. I'm a material stone, nah. I'm not a material girl. Surprisingly. Um, let's go ahead and go through here. We gotta go down another long hallway. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch up my weapon, because I don't think none of these guys are just fire. So they can get this beat in. Yeah. Took out a good chunk of them. Also, it didn't destroy the tower that, yes. that I was trying to aim for. Oh, we got pretty threat. That's actually an item that we needed. Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm also going to change some of my abilities. Uh, this can switch to that. This is going to be switched uh, for dash. And this is going to be switched for power wave. Alright. Hit! Take that! Take that! I don't know why Power Wave isn't going very far, but... Take that! Definitely... Dude, why is Power Wave not actually doing what it's supposed to do, which is shoot a wave? I don't think this, that, that move was built for this one. Just, just, just... Just, uh, only something I, uh, observed, you know? Man, Beatrice is just going in on their life. My stars! 
Take, take that. Everybody over here. Oh yeah, I should probably take off that sub menu too because that's gonna slow things down quite a bit. All right, here we go. Yay! Well. Uh, she's poisoned, so we should probably give her one of our few antidotes that we have. All right, here we go. More wolves, more people to get smacked. It's over. Yay! Take that. Thank you, Beatrice. Ah, over here. There's a thing behind this wall. Some zebras over there. And another pathway down. Okay, well, that's where we need to go after we finish here, so. Alright, let's go ahead and do one of these. Here we come! Oh man, what are you guys doing? Oh my head! You're not dead yet? We'll try one of these on for size. Oh, wow. Please, I just wanted to exist with my brother and. Take that! There goes the Stargate. Open the switch. I'm about to flick the switch. Flick, flick. Oh, here's a hidden chest, too. All right. Oh, black fur. All right. Oh, invincible. The invincibility drink, yes. That is what we are talking about. All right, the blue one seems like it's going to be the last switch and where we're going to have to backtrack a whole bunch. All right, well... Like I said, I was starting to do this dungeon. I didn't say we were going to finish it right away, so. That's fine with me. Look, Time look, to look. eat. Damn, my thanks. Alright. So, we opened the yellow now, so the yellow is the next thing we got to do. That's where we came from. Okay. So, we got to go down this path first, because this opened up. You're a mimic, so good job. You, you got a body. All right. Oh, okay. Well, there's a real chest here too. Another thing has opened up. What's that? All right. Find the mail. Nice. I think the next one that's opened up. We went down there. We still need one for that. This is where we need to go? No, this is where we came from. This is where we need to go. Okay. More zebras and more bad man. Oh, well, they're all dead, so it doesn't matter. Wow, wow. Alright. Opened another pathway. I don't know if that's the way to proceed, but we opened it. Alright. Oh, those give us the black, uh, jet black talents, too. Yeah, that looked like it opened the way forward, but there's still some other things that are still closed here, so... I'm gonna go ahead and try, uh, investigating. Oh, right! Ooh. That takes away Seal from, uh, all of our friends, so that's good. We're still missing, uh, a button, because we still have one area that's locked. Which means I have to go back to one of the other areas, I'm guessing, because there's two of these things that are still locked, so... Uh, we can just take the shortcut that's over here. Because I think this area over here might have opened up because of that. Or something on this side might have opened up too, so we're going to have to check both. Alright, so over here... I'm going to switch weapons too. I'm going to go switch to my... I'm going to use actually this, because this is actually my magic power. Alright, this was already opened. So over here must be the thing that wasn't opened? Yeah, okay. There. Hello! Yeah, I got absorbed into my power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay, stars. Yeah. Alright, so cool, we found the switch. That leads us to a treasure chest, that's cool and all. Uh, let's see. 
All right. Wow. Nice. How furry. How 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 rare. But we got the giant, uh, just a uh, big giant snail. Uh, we need to go over to this side too because I'm pretty sure there's a switch that we need to open over there. So we got to walk right back down. Hang a right. And then we should be able to open that, so then we can unlock everything in this room. Okay, so yeah, this opened up this. Which doesn't have any traps, just literally a treasure chest. Oh, All right. <laughs> Give me them, Golden Pumpkin Sea! Oh my gosh, it was one of everything? Okay, well, I guess I have to sell those, because I could grow them, but they won't make much of a difference. How long do they take to grow, too? I guess I should check that. 50 days. 90 days for golden cabbage? What's wrong with you? Pumpkin, it understands because it regrows. This doesn't even regrow, bro. But I'll, they all grow well in winter, so that's at least good. But I will definitely be selling those uh, the next day. Tomorrow, I guess is what you would say, not the next day. Already did that. Aha, over here. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. You guys gotta go. Show you. Sorry. Alright. My stars. Yes. All right. Let's see. All right. So I think we have all of the switches now open. So that's good. Um, I, yeah, that would be correct. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's just return to the entrance by doing this instead of wasting extra precious time. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And that didn't even take that long. Our fake tra we already were in here. Uh, I don't know which... Okay, we opened this. You already know how to make this recipe. Oh, well, I'm sorry I'm too good at this game. <laughs> it's like, oh, you did all this for a recipe that you already know? That's kind of lame. Uh, what's in here? Dry curry. Ooh. Yeah, that actually will be pretty good to use. Alright, this is where we need to go, so we already unlocked that. Uh, was there anything else that was unlocked because of that? I guess not. So we got a recipe for something we already got, and then a recipe for something else differently. Alright, let's go ahead and save, because I don't know what's going to be coming up next, but... We still have a little bit of time, so we can still push forward a little bit more. But there's definitely some good items here that I'm going to come back here and abuse for the fact that I can. Alright, time to go down this long corridor. Alright ladies, hope you're ready, because this one's about to be intense. Oh, a little dragon. I'm a little dragon. Look at me, I'm a little dragon. I'm trying to run away like a little bomb. And now I died like one. Dark snake. There you go. Yes. Relaxing tea in the, that cake? Let's go. Maybe this is the boss. Who knows? But uh, I'm ready. Let's see where we end up this episode. You got me all kind of little fucked up. Alright. Oh, it's the tree golem from the intro. Yeah, man, ready to fight? Because if you think you are, then I don't think you Ow! Oh my gosh, he hits hard. He has hands. This guy, this, this guy definitely has hands. But how much chances do you think he has? Because I'm about to throw the meanest magic attack at this dude. So. Come at me, bro. Ow. Alright, he does he do know how to run people over. But he's like, ah, I'm mad now. I'm gonna wreck you. I'm like, yeah, sure. Whatever you were about to do, yeah, no, nah, stop it. Oh my gosh, he did the laser show! Oh! He's like, eat these spinning lasers! 
All right, well, he's down. So. It would be a shame if I was to beat you while you were down, bro. I'll show you. All right. Don't make, don't be wood. Oh yeah, you are wood, huh? That's a shame for you, not for me. Goodbye. Well, that's one boss down. All right, let's go upstairs and see what's next. Well, I want to see how big this next floor is, considering the first one was basically a back and forth labyrinth. A labyrinth, but again. <laughs> okay. All right, time to do this floor. We're gonna start a little bit of this floor. I don't know if we're gonna get finished it, but we're gonna start a little bit of it. Take that! I'll show you. No, please don't beat me. My stars. Nice. High quality fur. Don't mind if I do. There's not a gate here, which is interesting. There's one locked door, there's one door. Oh, this one's also opened. Hello, friends. Don't mind me. We're just dropping in to beat your guys' face. It's over. Ow. He said, up a cup. Ow, bro. You weren't even looking in the same general direction as me. Okay, you guys get this of that. No mercy. Die. My stars. Yay. Oh, there's a gate right here. Yeah. Eat up. All right. Gotta flick the switch. Gotta flick the switch. Gotta go ahead and do it just like this. Flick the switch. Yeah, flick the switch. Gotta go ahead and do it look like this. All right. I'd be scared, but you're about to die in five seconds. So. Oh wait, I can't hit you with this. All right. Okay. Little switch flipped. Yes. Wait, I'm, did it say unbroken ivory tusk? Let's see. Okay, now we've had these before. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, we'll keep pl we'll keep going for this dungeon until it gets ten o'clock in game. Damn, so my that makes a lot of sense. Then then we can end off. Uh, let's see, what did we open up? We opened up over here. Yo, baby, here we are. Sorry that y'all are gonna get absorbed into the dark matter. All right. That's for the magic elixir, so. Chest. Small crystal, you can grind right. these in the dungeon where it takes away your, uh, RP. I was about to say MP, like it's any other type of, uh, RPG. Alright. Oh man, I'd be real scared of you if I wasn't already killing you. You ran through me with my treasure mod? That's rude. Alright, moving on. Oh no, it's the Digimon! Yo! Okay, so I'm actually mad. So, you know, remember when we had that buddy battle a while back? Actually, I guess you might have not have seen it. But anyways, if you saw that episode, those were the Digimons that beat up my my, my monsters on screen. And it, these are that late game of enemies. I'm actually mad. Nice. Field Pendant and Fro Pendant. Okay. Well, it was Fro Bracelet and a Fro Pendant, but whatever. Whatever. I'm just mad because I'm like, the Digimon that beat me were, were right there in my face. You know? Sorry, I sounded like the Yoshi from, uh, you know, 
From the Mario game? Yeah, from the Mario game. No, that's Mario Sunshine, if you were curious. <laughs> Alright. Da -da, da -da 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 we're almost heading up on 1030, so that means we're almost going to be done for the episode. But let's see if we can't make it a bit further and clean up all these guys a little bit quicker. Quick sticks, everyone. Quick, quick, quick sticks, everyone. Now, now you're done. No, no, now, now you're done. Hence the pop. My, my, spe my special technique. Yes! Oh, you learned how to make pineapple juice, finally. It's not like we've grown any pineapples yet, but you know. Wait, was there a switch in there that I just missed? Yes, there was, of course. Uh, that's why I'm very perspective. Uh, perspective? No. That's not the word I'm looking for. I have very good perception. Yeah, that's the word. Alright, more, there are more things that I don't care about. Now you've done it! Now you've done it! Now you're going to spin it! Bye. My stars! Nice. All right, another switch to be flipped. <clears throat> that should have opened the one next door. If not, that means we have to go back to the first hallway. Okay, so we're still missing another switch somewhere. Which means we gotta go back to this first hallway. And probably do this thing that's right next to us. Yeah, thought so. Oh, we don't even have to fight you guys? The fight is literally right here? Don't mind if I do. Okay, well, whatever. My stars! Yes! Ooh, leveler. Alright! Oh, ag armor fragment. That's probably a pretty good, uh, piece for, um... I was about to say armor like a joker. Oh, we opened up this pathway, actually. Yes, I noticed that it's past 10, 10 but I want to see if I can at least clear the next little that. bit of this stuff before we leave. I, don't, I would rather us finish this puzzle wow. section before we then get, uh... Take that! Huh. I'm not Shit. done yet! There! Okay, I came here prematurely, because I can't even finish this side until I go back to the other side. <clears throat> I think the recording should be still good, so we should just go ahead and move up here. Because we have to now finish that other room that I couldn't go to before. I think. Yeah, no, definitely. Because it was the switch that we needed to open. Got that. Did we get all of them? I got that. Uh, I'm missing a switch somewhere. So, oh boy. I think that means we're going to have to end it here because I'm like, as much as fun as I would like to run around and kill everything and find the single switch, I think right now it might be more beneficial if we just end off and then I figure that out on my own. Because that's the main one. We Definitely went down here and got all these, right? Or am I losing my mind? I don't know if I'm losing my mind or not. Uh, there's no enemies in here, and I already flipped the switch for that. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm kind of confused. Um, unless the switch went in that last room we just went in, and I didn't really hear the sound, the jingle. There's no switch in here. Or maybe there was something on this side I just didn't I didn't I didn't activate. That's a high possibility, a probability in the case. I switched that down, right? Okay. Yeah, I was already down. I, I just wanted to make sure though. Okay, I'm at a loss for right now, so you know what, I think this is a good place to end off, because then we can come back and finish the second dungeon on a later note. But for now, my lovely child of the internet, that's going to be everything for this episode of Rune Factory 5.
And next time when we come back, hopefully I'll have less voice cracks, and we will continue making our way through the rest of this dungeon. But until then, I have been Multi12-6789, other known as Multi-Man, and I'll catch you lovely childs of the internet next time. So ciao, ciao, until then. <laughs>